Another thing you can add to your course via the OPCD object placement is bridges. Now, bridges that we're going to be doing now are a function of the OPCD tools. In Unity, you have a lot of other options for bridges, which is which is things called prefabs. Prefabs are things that people created. Lots of times they create them in Blender, and then you can import them directly into Unity and then manipulate them in Unity, place them wherever you want, make them bigger, smaller, raise them up and down, um, and place them in Unity. So if the bridges you see here aren't exactly what you want, you have options of A, building your own bridge by learning Blender, or going into the Unity store or some other websites and buying a, a, a bridge. Uh, you know, it's usually an FBX file and bringing that into Unity, uh, depending on the look that you're going for. But I'm going to show you how to do these simple bridges inside of the OPCD object placement tools. So to do this, let's look at our water body. So this is the water body we were just using. We created a bulkhead around it. And let's say we wanted to create a bridge that goes from one side to the other, OK? Now, in our tools here, let's clean this up so you guys can see. Under my object placement tools, I have my bridges section here. And you can see there's four types of bridges. Um, they're all just different styles. We have two types of wood bridges and two types of stone bridges. So let's just pick wood type one. Um, and it says add bridge in edit mode. Okay. And you can see if I hover over the top, must select two vertices in, ed in edit mode. So from the education I gave you on the background information earlier on, what is a vertice? Well, a vertice is where a couple of lines meet. So this is a vertice right here. This is a vertice right here. So we need to select at least two vertices in edit mode in order to add a bridge. Now, what this is not telling you though is that the two vertices you select must be in the same mesh, okay? So that's a restriction, and there are ways to get around that, but let me show you why that's important. Well, let me show you how to make a bridge first, then I'll show you how to get around the restriction. So let's add a bridge across this water body. So let's do a wood bridge. We need to add bridge in edit mode. So we're gonna select a vertice. I would say we wanna do like a vertice here and a vertice here. So the first thing we need to do is select that mesh. And now I have that selected. I'm going to hit tab to go into edit mode. And when I see hit tab, you're going to see this changes from object select mode into edit mode. So now I'm in edit mode. And I'm also want to be in the vertice select tool that you see right here. So this is my select tool. I have that selected. I'm going to select this vertice right there. Now it's highlighted. I'm going to select this vertice over here. And now it is highlighted. Oh, it's not highlighted. What happened? Well, to select two vertices, I need to hold down shift. So I'm going to hold down shift. Now I've got vertices selected here and a vertice selected here. Really simple. Now I come over here and hit add bridge and voila, I have myself a wooden bridge. Now you can say, hey, these colors are ugly. Again, remember the cool colors and the cool materials get assigned in Unity. Everything in Blender is just kind of a placeholder for stuff happening later on. Okay, so these are material colors. And remember, just to give you an idea, if we go to the attributes, uh, it doesn't have any vert painting on it. Okay, it's essentially blank. Same thing with our bulkhead, but that's not a problem. We don't need to do vert painting on a bridge. So let's come back here and go to look at our material. So this is our bridge. Now let's say we want to manipulate this a little bit. You can see when we added that bridge, it actually ends up in the planted object section at the top okay of our hierarchy so here we have our bridge that we just added if i select it here you can see that it is highlighted in my screen well associated with that is this thing called a curve a curve is another um if you want to call it attribute or uh, an object inside of uh blender which shows essentially uh, you can have objects follow a curve in this case our curve isn't necessarily a curve it's just a straight line it goes from one side to the other. Now I have this selected and it's kind of hard to see in here. So I'm going to turn off and see if this helps us at all. I'm going to turn off our wireframe. And that didn't, oh, you can see. So here's our curve right here. It's one piece of it per se. And you can see another part of our curve here. Oh, I lost it. So if I come down here, so I'm going to go to my curve. You see, I have it highlighted here, and it's highlighted here. I'm going to hit tab and go into edit mode. Now, when I'm in edit mode, my curve is much easier to see. 
all right? And I have two sides to my curve. I've got this side, which has three vertexes on it or points, and I've got this side. And depending on which of these you select and what you do to it, you can manipulate this curve and hence manipulate your bridge. So I'm just gonna hit N to hide my toolbar so I have a little bit more room to work with here. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to select, okay, this point right here. And when I select that, okay, we're gonna get in a little blender trickery here, not blender, but blender functionality here. I've got this vertex selected and I'm gonna hit G for grab. And when you see when I do that, I'm now moving this thing all over the place. And it's really hard to get an idea if I wanna move this to the other side. Well, I'm kind of going up and down, left and right, forward and back, and I have no idea kind of where this is going. So I'm gonna hit Y, which is gonna restrict my movement on the Y plane or the ground plane. And when I do that, now you can see that when I move, it's staying at least flat and I can kind of have a better idea of where this is going. So let's say I wanna move this over say right about there. I'm going to click and that's going to stop. And I could do the same thing the other side as I can grab this point over here, G, Y, and now I can move it this way. And you can see I got some Z footing because it's a little bit lower on this side and on that side. So what I can do is let me move around here a little bit closer. Let me select this one again. And now I'm gonna hit G for grab again, but now I'm gonna grab on the Z axis, which is gonna allow me to lift this up and down. So I hit Z. Now I can lift it straight up and down and I can drop it down just to where I start seeing some Z fighting. So I know it's just barely touching. So right there, it starts to touch, lift it up, click. And now that's just barely touching that side. So it looks pretty good. And I can do the same thing over here. If I Manipulate that my move around here a little bit easier. Highlight this. And I lost my curve. Where'd it go? Here it is. There's a point of my curve. There we go. And yeah, let me grab that. Z. Ooh, so you can see I brought this way over here. So I probably want to, let me drop that down. Let me grab this again. Grab Y. Move it over here a little ways. And now I'm gonna grab again, grab Z and drop it down. And you can see it just starts to disappear a little bit. So now I have it kind of on both sides, touching here and I got it touching there. Well, these points on my curve that are towards the middle here, so there's one here and if I highlight this one, there's one here, they can actually make this thing bend and manipulate. So let me grab this one, G, and let me move it on the Z axis. And let me show you what happens. Now I can get a little bit of an arch. Now most bridges are arched slightly, so I'm gonna arch that side. And let me go back over here, highlight this side, highlight this point here, grab Z, and raise that up. And now you guys will see that my bridge has a slight arch to it. It makes it look a little bit more natural because that kind of goes up in the air a little bit. So that's how I create an arch on my bridge by grabbing these points and grabbing and moving them up and down. Now I can also put a curve on this bridge too. So I can take this same point here, grab it. Y, remember for the ground plane, and now I can drag it this way and add a curb. So I can go back to this side, grab this one here, grab Y and shoot this one this way. And I can get some funky stuff going on here, right? So I can make an S out of that bridge. So there's a lot of stuff that you can do, okay? So that's how you add bridges. Now there is a trick here. Um, <laughs> let's say, I'm gonna to have to make this up and you guys are gonna to have to do a little bit of thinking with me. Let's say that we wanted to create a bridge across this, um, this water body, but this mesh over here, let me go back into object mode and select my rough. So this rough right now is all one mesh, but maybe this mesh over here was different from this mesh over here. 
And if that's the case, when I go in the tab and I do vertex select, I would not be able to select something in this one and something in this one because this is a different mesh. So for example, let's say we wanted to create a bridge from this point to, to a point in the middle of this fairway, okay? I don't know why you'd want to do that, but it serves the example of you want to create a bridge where the ends of the bridge are in two different meshes, okay? Unfortunately, I cannot select anything in here to do that. So what do I do? Just select two points in the same mesh. Okay, so now I got two points. I'm going to hit the N key to bring up my bridge. I'm going to add, let's do a stone, stone type this time. Stone type one, add bridge. And now you can see I got this new bridge. Now it's Zed fighting quite a bit, but it's laying on there. But I don't want it there. Now all I have to do is I'm going to go into this bridge. You can see it's here. I have the curve. Let's go into the curve. I can select. I'm going to do tab. I'm going to select this side of it. And what I'm going to do is grab Y. And now, essentially, I can move this wherever I want it. Okay. Um, I can move this bridge. Now, what did I do here? I need to grab this. Grab Y. Sometimes it gets a little funny here. Now I can't move it over this direction for some reason. There we go. Grab it there. I can grab Y again, or just grab it there. Manipulate it this way. And now see now it's sitting underneath. Now I have to. This is the 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 challenge with 3D object manipulation. So I'm going to grab it now. Grab Z. So straight up and down. And now I can lift it straight up. And you can see now I can start to get this into place. Grab Y, and now that bridge, it's not perfect, but I have to do some manipulation here, but they get the idea is now that bridge is going across two different meshes. For example, if there was a water body here, there was one mesh on this side, a different mesh on the other side, I would have had to select two vertices on the same mesh and manipulate it just like I did to get it over there. And you guys already seen how I do curves and such, okay? So that is working with bridges.